This is my favorite video that I have seen, at least this week, maybe this year, and it's of a nun in France, a Catholic nun who is on the site of a new chapel that is being built when a bunch of climate protesters show up, these left-wing Gaia-worshipping pagans, show up to destroy the construction site. So what is the nun going to do? Is the nun going to just sit meekly back? Is the nun only going to pray? I'm sure the nun was praying about this a lot, and that's a very important thing to do. That's the most important thing to do at first. But then there are other things that we can do, such as tackle the climate protesters. There she goes. Drag him. Slay, sister. Yes. Get that jerk in the muck. Then the other one's going. They keep trying to destroy the construction equipment. But that sister, oh, I love it. There are too many pacifists in the church militant, if you ask me. I absolutely love that. You know, they say faith without works is dead, which is sometimes misinterpreted to mean that we can earn our own salvation through works. And that's not the case. God's grace comes all the way down the mountain. We can cooperate with that grace or not. And, and a, a life of faith is going to look like something, and it's going to impel certain actions, such as tackling the climate activists who are trying to destroy your property and a beautiful chapel that could be built. The, the reason, though, that this video really struck me, and I think the reason it's going viral right now, and it pertains to what we were just talking about with feminism, is under feminism, women seem empowered, but are in fact powerless. Right? Women, uh, they, they seem like they're boss babes, but actually they just get used by a bunch of men as sexual toys and then discarded. They they are dragged out for activism, you know, and they, they smile on camera, but then they're discarded. They, they're told that they're empowered to go sit in the office at the widget factory and engage in drudgery all day and have to put off getting married and have to put off having kids and have to put off being the hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. Right now, go to roughgreens.com slash Michael. You know, I'm not a dog person. I'm a people person. But my stepbrother, he has a little dog. And while I'm lukewarm on my stepbrother, you know, the dog should be healthy, which is why I sent him rough greens. And they absolutely love it. Naturopathic doctor Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, is focused on improving the health of every dog in America. Dog food may as well be considered dead food because it contains very little nutritional content. Think about it. Nutrition is not brown. It's green. Let rough greens Bring your dog's food back to life. Rough Greens, how many times am I going to say it? A lot. Is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs. You don't have to go out and buy new dog food. Just sprinkle Rough Greens on your food every single day. Dog owners everywhere are raving about Rough Greens. It supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels. It does a whole lot more than that. And right now, my listeners are going to get a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it. Get that free Jumpstart trial bag delivered straight to your door just a few business days. Roughgreens.com slash Michael or call 844-RUFF-123. R-U-F-F-Greens.com slash Michael or call 844-RUFF-123 today. So the PR coming out of media in Hollywood is these feminist women, they're so empowered, but they're miserable. And in fact, if you trust surveys on happiness, their happiness since feminism, going back to the very moment of the rise of feminism, their happiness has declined, both absolutely and relative to men. And ironically, under traditional gender roles, women seem subservient. Women seem like they're in a secondary role. In fact, however, they are extremely empowered. If you have ever met a real nun, I got to spend some time with some, some uh, sisters, some pro-life sisters in uh, Southern California at a, a pro-life gala a few weeks ago. These are some of the toughest ladies you ever saw in your life, and they are doing lots of good, and they're not going to take no for an answer, and not, uh, certainly not from unjust authority, and they're, they're forces to be reckoned with. You ever meet a true matriarch of a family? Often she will defer to her husband. The husband's the head of the household. She will look like a 1950s housewife. She might look like a 1250s housewife. She has a lot of power. 
This is the meaning of the phrase, the hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. The, the reason that that is always the case is because when you live in accordance with nature and reality, you will succeed more. You will be more perfectly yourself. If you try to do the opposite, if, if you fall into the, the lie of feminism, which says that the only way to have power or do good is to act like a man, to put on a suit, and in some cases now to transform your body to look more like a man, uh, you're going to be acting out of accord with nature, out of accord with reality, and you're never going to beat reality. You, it, when, when you and reality go up in the boxing match, reality is always going to win. You will, you will become a caricature of yourself and what you're supposed to be rather than the perfect version of yourself. And ultimately, we reach our full perfection when we cooperate with God's grace and accept God's grace, which is why that nun is just absolutely crushing it and crushing that protester. Boy, what a great clip that was. Now, hmm? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Ring that bell. Subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.